Hey guys, how you doing? Uncle Steph here. So somebody asked me, have you heard of a situation where a web developer has been able to create passive income with their projects? If so, how? Of course, I've done it a few times and there's a whole bunch of different ways that you can approach this. Well, there's a few ways you can approach this. The most obvious, of course, is to create a SaaS product, a software as a service. It could be any type of thing. It could be B2C, B2B, B2C is business to client, business to business is B2B. This is not so much about software development, but it's more about understanding industries that you, uh, well, it's about understanding industries. So for example, maybe you uh, worked at coffee shops for years and you understand what coffee shops might need, independent coffee shops might need in terms of software. What could you provide to them as a service perhaps in the form of a piece of software that might make sense for them? I don't know. I'm just spitballing ideas here. So for example, with myself, uh, with my current SaaS, Studio Web, which is an educational software, and many schools and districts use it and have used it over the years. And I came up with the, the basic idea, the basic concept, based, what I, based on what I understood about school, about schools and education teaching. And then I uh, slowly put it out to more and more districts and more and more schools as I onboarded them, the software evolved. But that's an example where I was able to take, uh, uh, create passive income from my projects. And another simpler one that I did in the past was I built a piece of software that would monitor websites, whether they went offline and so forth. This is back in the, uh, is the 90s? I guess the late 90s, early 2000s. So it was a website monitoring service I built. I built it with Ruby, by the way. And it would just ping to see if a site was down. If the site didn't spawn, respond in a certain amount of time, it would uh, run through a process. And if it found that the site was offline, it would send an email to the client. And the client could then, you know, you, the client would know how often does their site go down. Anyway, that was the service, a very simple one. Uh, I don't know. I didn't have too many clients on that one. I, I decided to drop that business after a short period of time. I've had a dating site again, passive income there. Easier ways of passive income is you could, for example, uh, start providing hosting for your freelance clients. Now that is, uh, something I would be wary of because uh, when you are providing hosting services, you're basically on the hook 24-7. But let's say you build a, up a site for your small business owner. Instead of putting them on a third-party host, you create your own hosting company. You can do that pretty easily by uh, partnering with a company, get a VPS, uh, install a control panel, and uh, away you go, Bob's your uncle. You can start providing full hosting services for, uh, for your typical small business. Again, I don't know if you want to pursue that. That only becomes interesting when you got lots and lots of clients. I did do that. And at one point I had, I don't know how many clients on board, maybe 2,000 clients. Uh, I, didn't, I had not built contracts. I had not built sites for all these clients, of course. But I built up this hosting business starting with my clients. Um, eventually, I didn't like it, though, because I kept on getting calls and tech uh, support requests. So I eventually uh, offloaded that thing. So I'm just off the top of my head. Those are two ways to generate passive income with your web development skills. Again, it's not so much about the technical implementation is the issue. It's just figuring out the business model. Uh, yeah, you're going to have to figure out the business model and see how you might be able to sell those skills in a passive income way. That is typically though creating a SaaS product, a software as a service. Uh, although there are other ways you can do that as well. I'm Uncle Steph. I mentor people in the ways of software development. Not only do I teach you how to code like a pro, but I teach you how to monetize those skills, how to turn them into a job, into a business, all that good stuff. All right. You can find me at UncleSteph.com. Links below. And I also have solo uh, self-paced courses as well, if you like. Cheers.